Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and today we're going to be upgrading the 32 that's actually being recognized as 24 gigabytes at that angle, there we go, with this kit of 64 from Corsair. So, right now it's on, we're going to shut it off, and now we'll get back to you when we're inside the system. Okay, here we are, all the memories there. And now that there's nothing between these cards, I probably could move the bottom 980 Ti up a slot or two, but whatever. Just gonna get out all these memory cards first. There we go. Those are pretty warm, probably should put a fan over them. Actually, they're already is with the radiator fan and the exhaust fan right there. Next set of memory. All this memory will go into Project Ember next video since it's no longer being used in the bolide. There we go. All right, time for the uh, Corsair. Oh, one second. All right, here we are. First one, already getting caught on cables. Uh, which orientation this way? I think so. Yep, that's good. So this will be a bit tricky, but I gotta Press on both the top and bottom for each of those two. All right, next one. All right, let's just make sure it's all gonna work. So, that one here. Now the pressure on both sides here. rid of the plastic. Bring up the next two from the bottom here. All right, there we go. All right, that's that one. We go and now this one there we go and that's that side now the right side is going to be a bit more difficult because cables ah is there a Better way to organize these wires here. Enter, probably not. That's gonna have to do for now. In fact, no it won't because it's not staying. Hmm. Here we go, that's gonna stay there. Just gotta watch out for the tubes. Is that leaking there? Better not be. Okay, next kit of memory. And yes, of course, all graphics cards are meant to be used as tables when working inside your computer. Everyone does it, don't bother. So this one, flip the other way around because quad channel. Here we go. Locked in place. Next one. This will be the trickiest one to get here. There we go. That one's in place. 
Last two. Where the orientation is at. The right way around, that's what it is. And this one will be difficult to get just because of its center. Or well, in between the two of others. But I got it there. All right, that one's in place. Final card. All right, there we go. All right, that's all of them. It looks so nice in uniform. Uh, if only they would all be facing the same way. That would be cool. All right, let's turn it on. And see what the BIOS will say. Or if it'll post. It'll probably take a long time to post because of memory. But there we go. Smash the delete key as per overclockers do. All right, everything is recognized. All right, eight gigabytes for each and every dim. So the motherboard uh, slots all work fine. So I don't need to get a new motherboard just yet. And we are going to put these up to their 2400 speed since that was new speed of the other one so it should be fine GDR4 2400 GDR4 2400 okay uh yeah I'm gonna go ahead and exit here save changes and reset and then I'm gonna make sure it'll go to windows and recognize all the memory just fine while it's opened uh, I can't put the side panel back on because the fan switch is right there. Actually, I probably could if I turned off the side panel fan, plugged it in, and then turned it back on. Okay, you're taking a long time to do the thing. Come on. Oh, okay. There goes that fan. Now it's not posting, even though it just did. Turn up the voltage, turn down the speed. What do we do here? Let's try turning down the speed. The 2133 or 2200, whatever pops up. Oh, okay, it's working fine now. Okay, I don't know why I didn't want to post the first time. Uh, but whatever, let's see what Windows wants to say about this. All right, no blue screen yet. All right, come on, 64, 64. Uh, what? 48, you gotta be kidding me. It was all just working. Oh my God. Okay, why is it doing this? Restart. Come on. 
which cards aren't being recognized. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Forty nine point two. Uh, why? Why? No. What? Oh, I went down, back down to base, surely? Okay. Actually, uh, this is stupid. Why did it do that? Why? What? No. Okay. Twenty-one thirty-three. Twenty-two hundred. Uh. Timing, DRAM, voltage, I set these to 1.35. Okay. CPU voltage stayed the same. So save and reset settings. I lowered the frequency, added voltage. Let's see what the BIOS says now. You saw it was working perfectly fine. What is going on? And now it's just in a boot loop. So what's going on here? Oh my god, come on! Okay. Alright, so hit the switch. What happens now? Oh my god, why? It was working perfectly. First boot, you saw it. Everything was being recognized. It should... Right now, I come up with a overclocking failed kind of thing. There we go. This one's gonna work, or at least boot. Overclocking failed. No way. Um, there we go, it's recognizing all the memory now. 64 gigabytes, oh my god. Why is this keyboard like that? Or why is the BIOS like that? All right, all the memory is recognized again. Uh, let's go here, let's go here. Stop doing that, 100. Sync all cores. Uh, I don't know what this was at before. What, no. No. There we go. Probably not going to do much there. Power saving, ratio tuning, everything is as it should. I don't know why it's stuck in a boot loop.
All right. Okay. All right, let's see what memory pops up in Windows. All right, no blue screen. And the side meter pops up with 63.964, hooray! It's not dead. I have no idea, oh, okay, yay. Gadgets, get going, yay, fixed. I have no idea why it was doing that, but I guess the bolide name still sticks. Once it gets, gets going, nothing can stop it. The problem is getting going. <laughs> oh well. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed Bolide, uh, four and a half at this point, uh, barely starting up after giving it brand new memory, please go ahead, leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Thanks, Gamboy Out. I will see you in the future.